Guten Abend, Trot. How are you doing? You ready for some rock and roll? Are you ready? All right, let me present you my wonderful band first, Mr. Jimmy on guitar. Jakob on drums. Roger on bass guitar. Let's make some noise. performing here. It's been a long way from the past three Jeff uh, on the blue stage. Yeah. yeah, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Uh, you learned a quote-unquote normal job before decided becoming professional musician. I used to work in kitchen like a pastry chef but it all changed when I saw uh, my first guitar teacher playing the blues and it was actually the first time I hear the blues. I was 19, so quite late, but it's never too late to, to start and live your dream. So. Did you learn playing guitar with 19 or had you yeah, played it's, before? No, it was the first time I started to play at the age of 19. What was the attracting thing about the blues for you? Uh, the feeling inside me. I, I never felt something like that before. I, I like to work pastries and it's also kind of art, but music is something that stays forever and you really can make a lot of people happy when you play and sing, so it's, it's a special feeling, definitely. You're coming from Croatia. Uh, how did you happen, or how did it happen to get out there to find a record company here in Germany? Well, I can thank to Lawrence Jones, he's a guitar player from England and he told to Thomas Roof from Roof Records for me and then Thomas come to Croatia just to hear my music and the guitar player who I played tonight, Mr. Jimmy, we usually play acoustic sessions in the summer, so that's the last summer when it all started with Thomas. <laughs> went quite fast. Well, you 
signed you uh, went to Stantonville in Tennessee for yeah. recording for the Girls, uh, for the Blues Caravan CD. Yes, it was very fast and much faster than I expected because uh, when I signed with Thomas I just played guitar for five years and but I think when you love something it's just when you really want it it starts to happen so the recording session was great and it was my first time in the studio and the first time on tour with, with the Blues Caravan. You worked with uh, Jim Gaines at, at the first yes. session. Yeah, Jim Gaines, he's a wonderful man and he worked with one of my heroes, Stevie Ray Vaughan. So it was great to hear the, all the stories from the first hand with the man who worked with your idol. Then uh, you toured with the Blues Caravan with Mike Sito and, and Bernard Allison. Yes. And whose father, Luther Allison, was another idol, I guess. Yeah. I mean, they're all my idols, and Mike Zito and Bernard, they really, they're in this business for years and years, and I can, I'm so happy that I've been on tour with them, because they, I've learned a lot, and they are so humble and friendly people, not just the great musicians, they're really, they help me, because when you do something for the first time, is you are scared, and, but they made me feel really good, and I learned a lot from them. I think it was helpful for the work in the studio that you knew uh, Mike from the road, that you were kind of familiar with each other already or? Not really. We met in Memphis for the first time uh, and the studio was the second time we met, yeah. But as I told, he's really a friendly person and a great mentor and has a lot of experience. So we had a great fun recording the album. <laughs> Shape I'm in, I can't sing, I am pretty and my legs are thin But don't ask me what I think of you I might not give you answer that you want me to if I got it right. That's right, that's my debut album, so by the end of this year, the second one should be out. Have you already started recording or? We start in October. Yeah. Again with Mike or? Uh, either Bernard or Mike, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now we work together now. Um, Bad Penny is a song by Rory Gallagher. Yes, my biggest hero. I guess you're too young to have seen him live. Yeah, because he, he died when I was one year old, so... But, thanks God we have YouTube today, so... You discovered him on YouTube, or...? Uh, yeah, actually, my friend told me, you, sh you should check this guy, he is so great. And the first song I heard was Bullfrog Blues. And really, from all the musicians, he was... You don't have to be technically perfect, and I don't care, if you make a mistake, but... Uh, the feeling he gave to the people on stage, that's, I think, for me, that's what music is all about, to make people feel good and after your show, you see people smiling, that's mm. the best. Um, you're still at the beginning, in a way, man. I guess also still having to find your own way, in a way? Yeah, I mean, you search your way the whole life and we learn by the last day on, on this planet, so... I just keep following my heart and 
the inside. And the heart says, at least at the moment, electric blues with a rock and roll attitude? That's right. Just rock and roll and yeah. And how is it now, my, uh, doing the first tours or so? What kind of experience is that? For me, it's the best in my life for now. I have such a wonderful team with me. Roger, Jakob, Jimmy. My dad is driving the van, so it's, it's like a big family. And I would say we have too much fun every day. Uh, for the end, but you're still living in Croatia. Croatia. Uh, you told me you're thinking about moving to Germany. Yes, I mean Croatia is a beautiful country and beautiful nature and stuff, but uh, I have mostly concerts in Germany, so it would be easier for me and my band, a lot of and the Roof Records is in Germany, so that would be a good move to, to move here. Okay, Wanda, thank you very much. Thank you.